I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Richard's not unlike many patients who have long-standing gastroesophageal reflux, and some of them develop uh, abnormal cells in their esophagus, and then they develop some precancer cells, and he unfortunately developed cancer in the precancer cells. His referring physicians were um, very attuned to him. They followed him closely, and uh, this cancer was discovered in one of the earlier stages. Our first visit, with her, she said up front what, we, what to expect. There wasn't any surprises. What we're going to look for. And she made a drawing. And she made a drawing and told us what to, before they even did the endoscopy ultrasound. Esophageal cancer is a pretty ominous diagnosis. And so if you get somebody through an esophageal cancer diagnosis and get them on the other side and get them in remission and there is no more cancer, that's a pretty, that's a good day. When you meet somebody at that time in their lives, it's a particularly vulnerable time and it's a very tender time um, to meet somebody because um, they're sick and you realize that it's the effect of your team and Roper St. Francis um, that's going to make them better and that's going to pull them through this and get them on the other side. So um, you get to know them as a person and they get to know you as a person. I felt very at ease with Dr. Klein, and uh, I can't say enough about her. I mean, the wife and I just love her to pieces. I think he's my hero.